good stay within five minutes. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that question. So, 68% of the chicken we consume in Zimbabwe is produced by small scale horses and cattle. Uh, usually, this comprises of uh, the parents and the children. Uh, sometimes it also involves uh, the grandparents, the aunts, and the uncles. According to the Zimbabwe Poultry Association, uh, these farmers uh, experience high chick mortality rate due to lack of uh, putting equipment as well as technical advice and assistance. This is actually a challenge that I faced when I was growing up uh, as I was also involved in the poultry farming uh, enterprise with my family. Just like a lot of African farmers, uh, we couldn't afford uh, labor, so the whole family would take part. I remember one of my responsibilities was to make sure that we didn't have a uh, cheap mortality rate. So it was my responsibility, including my sisters as well, to do that. And because we lacked the proper equipment for this, we would uh, look for cattle boxes, uh, which I would put the chicks in the box every morning, and then uh, every evening, and then take them out uh, every morning. Imagine doing this at 10 years for 100 chicks. It was really tiresome and time consuming and I did not even like it. But the good thing is that uh, my father would always give us an allowance each time we didn't experience any chick mortalities and that inspired us. He would also go for trainings uh, in different fields in agriculture, come, he'd come back home and teach us in the language that we understood. However, one day I decided uh, to do something naughty. Uh, because I didn't like uh, putting the chicks in the box, I just went to the ball run, stood by the side, went back home, and pretended that uh, everything was okay. Guess what happened the following morning? We lost 35 of our chicks out of a batch of 100. And that pained me a lot because most of our revenue was coming from the product project. I remember looking at my parents' eyes and saw how they were heartbroken. And it was at that point that I said to myself, I'm gonna work hard and make sure that I purchase enough equipment so that my family do not have to go through all this trouble. Unfortunately, my father passed away at the age of 17, but he continued uh, with this uh, gorilla production. I later on went to college and then uh, got employment for five years. I remembered my father's words when he said to us, you should always invest in agriculture. So I decided to go back into agriculture as a choice. But this time, I didn't want to do it the old way which we used to do it when I was growing up. So I took it upon myself to look for innovation that would actually help us to reduce chicken mortality rate. Uh, I visited developing countries and uh, actually saw that the equipment was there but we couldn't afford it because we didn't have uh, the money. So I also decided, what if I could manufacture something for my farm to use? And then I researched both online and even visited neighboring countries. And then in 2017, I came up with a chip breeding device whose aim is to reduce chip mortality rate by 95%. It's made up of three components, uh, the broodering by Peter, that is powered by the biomass briquette, and uh, the heat reflector. So in essence, it uh, mimics the mother hen. So I decided to use it on the farm, and uh, it worked really well, as my chick mortality rate actually decreased by 95%. Because we live in a community, I shared this uh, with my neighbors, and they were really keen on this because uh, not only was I increasing my profits uh, with a lot of birds to slaughter so that uh, people in the community can also consume and they will be able to buy from us. So they asked me to start making equipment for them. That was the point when Passion Poultry, the company that I own, uh, I was started. In the process, I also joined the Zimbabwe Farmers Union, which has really helped me to attain uh, the three E's, uh, which is education, experience, and exposure, so much that now, I'm a young farmer with the World Farmer Organization. To add on to that, uh, I decided to make sure that uh, other farmers could actually benefit from this. So I went on to protect uh, 
<coughs> and I was granted a patent by Africa. As you can see, I had a problem and also managed to get a solution. <coughs> and I believe that as young farmers uh, at global level, we have problems, yes, but are also trying to figure out solutions and making sure that these solutions are also implemented. So this exposure uh, to the World Farmer Organization is not only benefiting me and my family, but it's also benefiting my community as well as the nation's explanation at large. Because from here, I'm gonna go back and tell them about the experiences that I've had, be it in person or even online. I believe that uh, the United Nations Decade of Family Farming is a really important because it's raising an awareness on the importance of family farming. It's also helping us to foster public policy as well as funding for these family farmers.